Hey guys, welcome to part one of my discord.py series. So as part of the series, um, we're going to be building a discord bot using Python alongside discord API. So basically as part of this API that discord offers, they're allowing us to build a bot user that will take in commands that listens to events and it would do other like cool stuff, right? So like you can assign roles on reaction, you can play games with the bot. So basically as a part of the series, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a customizable bot, right? So you, you can tell the bot to take in your own commands. I'll also show you how to push this bot onto a server, a Heroku server. So if you make an account with Heroku, they'll give you a free dyno, which allows you to host your bot and have it running for 550 hours in a month. So this bot will be running 24 seven ish. So it won't be completely running 24 for seven because as part of Heroku's free tier, the bot will shut off, like it will go into sleep mode when it's not being in use. So firstly, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up a Discord bot on the developer portal from Discord, right? So first you have to Google Discord developer portal. It would be the first link here and it should bring you the documentations for this, uh, for discord.py. So Discord, they offer extensive documentations. Their documentation is very good. If you, if you have time, you can read over everything that discord.py offers you but what we want right now is the application so the, in the applications you can see a list of all the past applications that you have made so f mostly if you click new applications here it will require you to log in first right so just log in with your regular discord account the one that you regularly use so let's pick a name for our discord bot so i'm going to be naming mine exceed as part of my channel right so we will then create this bot and let's create it and it will bring us to this new um portal right so for this bot you can give it a name you have client key public key so these keys are very important right so these keys you can show on your front end you can show in your code that you publish to um github so next we want to go down to the bot section right this is what we're going to be doing in the developer portal we want to build a bot right so let's add a bot right add a bot <laughs> so um it auto fills into exceed and it adds a bot so this bot is now named exceed it's a bot user so if you add this bot to your server it now has a little tag that says bot on it so people know it's not a real user so here is a very secret key this is the key that allows your python file to interact with the discord api so this key is very secret right you don't want to share with anyone um, if they have it, they can interact with your bot and manipulate your bot. They can send their own code to your bot and have that run, right? So if you scroll down a little bit, you can then reach the bot's permission. This is what you want to give your bot. So this um, little uh, calculator thingy will then give you a specific number depending on what you want the bot to do, right? So let's say you want your, this to be an admin bot. You want it to be able to manage your server, change roles, change channels, um, kick players and ban players. It gives you a specific code to let the um, invite code know what the bot is doing. So we don't want any of this. We just want our bot to be admin, which is everything, right? Which is code eight. To invite our bot to our server, we then go to the O off to tab. So here we're going to be adding our bot to our personal Discord server, right? So I'm going to be clicking bots because that's what we want, right? And we want to give our bot the admin permission which is eight. So right here is the permission, which is where the long strings of um, whatever you calculated back there is. And this is your bot ID. So if I give someone this link, they can then access and add my bot to their Discord server. So I can then add this bot to my server and give it admin usage. Uh, I can then verify that I'm a human and now my bot is on my Discord server. As you can see, my bot is now on my Discord server, right? So Exceed is, on, is not online, but it's been added to my server as an admin. And you can see it has a little bot tag right here. So basically, um, so yeah, our bot's online right now, right? So I want to show you guys how to add, take the bot online and bring functionality to it. So uh, as I said before, as a part of this course, we're going to be using discord.py. So how would you install discord.py? You, if you're on Windows or on a Mac, you can then just go and look up your terminal by going to the search bar and clicking term. Terminal in um, Mac OS is the same thing as command prompt in Windows. They're both the same thing and they both interact the same way, right? So the IED I'm using right now is PyCharm. You can use VS Code or anything. So um, actually, I don't want that terminal there. So I want to go to my um, I want to go to my Discord.py file, and I want to interact with it, right? 
So I want to go to this file and a nifty the, um, little trick that you can do with a uh, Windows command is that you can go to your file, go find where your file is, right? So I'm going to Discord and this is my pot. I want to add discord.py here. So I will type CMD and we have discord.py. And we and we don't have discord.py, we have a command prompt at this directory. Normally you will have to do CD and go into that directory as your, by yourself. But this is an easier way to do it, right? So what we want to do is pip install discord.py. So basically what this is saying is that you want Python to install a package that is called discord.py. If you type enter, Python will then run this command and it will add all the files that you need for discord.py. I already have it installed, so I won't really need to do anything else, right? So I can just close this out. But once you do that, it's installed on your computer. So in PyCharm, if you could control O and S, it will then bring up the settings menu. Right. So this is where we want to add discord.py. You want to go down to your project and my project name is discord bot and you want to go to down into interpreter. This is where we can add basically any packages we want, APIs we want. So you want to click this little add button right here after you get into the settings menu, which is uh, to install a package. You want to install the discord.py package here. So you just find the discord.py and install package, right? It would then say that it's installing down here and once it's finished installing it would then tell you it's been successfully installed right so once your PyCharm has discord installed you can then import discord right this would then import the discord packages and allows you to use that bot so we also want to import from discord dot extension extension so we want to just import the discord dot extent and we want to import commands so basically this will allow us to use the discord bot and allow us to make that discord bot right so um to start with the bot we would then make a variable called bot and we would then type commands which calls the command uh the command function that we uh, had from discord to extension right we would then call this commands and we would then want to make a bot using it so this bot method has different parameters that you can input to it it has a command prefix one which basically uh, uh, is everything that follows after you do command. So in Discord, if you want to type a command, you usually do a little symbol and then you would then do whatever you want on that symbol, right? So like exclamation point close. So as a little practice thing for Discord.py, you want to organize your file in a in a organized way, right? So let's make a little uh, file here, a Python file here called config. So this will make a config file that will that will allow us to use uh, variables here. So let's have a uh, variable here called prefix, right? Uh, let's set this to a string of exclamation point. So let's get the key that we found from the developer portal and let's copy and paste this key in. And we don't need this anymore. It's token and we add it to this. So now our bot has, so now we have access to a prefix and a token from our bot, right? So now let's go back to Python here and let's import. So from config, import star. So what we're doing here is that we're importing a everything. So this star is basically telling our uh, main program to import everything. So we want to use the prefix from star and let's give our bot a description. So this would be a test bot for the discord.py API, right? And now let's have a little event. So bot.event will basically allow you to write some code on an event that something happens, right? So um, as you go through this course, you would then do at bot.command and that's how you pass in the command and you have other stuff too, right? So we're all mainly going to be dealing with these two elements inside this course right now. We only want to use commands and events. So we can name our bots different things. This variable, this is what's getting called whenever we say bot, right? So bot.event, we're calling the bot thing and we're having an event tag alongside it. So let's have the bot a tr trigger a command whenever it's online. So let's have a bot.event. So basically this is an event that will trigger whenever the bot goes online. Let's have an asynchronous async function. 
So def defines a function. Asynchronous means async means asynchronous, and it's given a name. So uh, Discord has a bunch of ready-made um, events that will activate already, and Discord.py knows what it is. So on ready is one of them. On ready basically will tell the bot that they're ready, right? So um, let's print out a little statement that says I am alive. So whenever the bot goes online, it will then print out to the console I am alive. Now let's have a little command, right? So this is a bot command, and we want to pass underscore context. So basically, context is what allows us to interact with our bot, right? And we have an asynchronous function, and we call, and we make a function, asynchronous function called hello, right? And we take in the context that's passed in. So the context is the bot basically. So we want this bot to send a message whenever the user types exclamation point hello. So then we would do await um, ctx. So await the context. The context in this context is the bot, right? So ctx is the bot, and we want it to send a message. So that's basically how you get um, Discord.py to send a message to a channel. We would then just do hello, right? bot. So whenever the type the user types hello, the bot would then reply hello, I am a bot. Let's see this in action. So to see this in action, we would then have to run this file, right? So to run this file, we would then have to go scroll down and do bot.run. So we're going to be running the bot and we the first parameter we want to give it is the token that we uh, applied over here. So this. We would then also like to give the bot uh, some properties. So is it a bot? Yes. And we would like to reconnect. Yes. So we're basically telling Discord.py that our bot is a bot, and we are want to reconnect when we um, log out. So let's run our bot. Let's click the little plus sign up here, or you can also go to the file and run your main.py. As you can see here, your bot says I am alive. That means the bot is online. Yep, it's online. And let's say we want to do the hello. The bot would then say, I am a bot. Hello, I am a bot. Why is there a three? <laughs> so let's look up. Oh, I added a three in accident. So yeah. So now whenever we type hello, bot would then reply with us, right? And the change didn't take effect. So because we didn't rerun this file. So once we rerun this file and we wait for the hello, I am alive. So that means the bot is alive, right? And then if we write hello, it then updates with the new message, I, hello, I am a bot. So a little recap. So um, so today, what do we do? We went over to the development portal and made our bot. We got the token, we came back, and we made two little files. So um, we made a config file and a main.py file. So um, it's good practice to separate like your private keys from your main file because you can then update, you can uh, upload this main.py to GitHub for other people to see, but they can't interact with your bot because your bot is pulling out of the config file. Push your config file to GitHub. You could then just push this with junk data, right? So key here, right? It doesn't really matter. But yeah, so basically our bot will then know how to take a command in and print messages on events. That's it for today. I hope you guys come back for part two where we're going to be going over more commands and we're going to be starting on building our um, tic-tac-toe game inside Discord, right? I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.